Hi, I'm Darren Wright, owner and inspector of Wright Inspections. Today we're going to talk about thermal imaging and how it's used in a home inspection. Thermal imaging camera is a special type of camera that creates a picture based on infrared energy. It is the heat that is emitted from the surface of walls, floors, and other objects. It creates a picture based on this energy very accurate picture up to a half a degree difference can be detected. And this is a very important tool for home inspection. Without this, your inspector is simply looking around. With this, we can find moisture problems, leaks from plumbing, leaks from the outdoors. We can find missing insulation in walls and ceilings. We can find overheating electrical problems such as bad switches, uh, breakers that won't trip but will get hot, potential fire problem. So let's look around with this camera and see what we can find. Now as we inspect the home, we work our way through the home, we're checking all of the electrical, we have the AC going, and we check all the plumbing. If it's a two-story home, I like to start upstairs first. I will get the water running in the sinks, the showers, the tubs. We'll fill the sinks to the top. Then drain them. Also letting the water run for a good 10 or 15 minutes. Sometimes we have a uh, unoccupied home. Nothing's been used for a while, everything's dry, it's very hard to find leaks. We'll run the shower, try to get a little bit of water in the pan to simulate a slow drain. We'll look underneath the sinks for leaks. And we will also go downstairs and look for leaks. So not only are we looking with our eyes, and our flashlight. We're looking with a thermal imaging camera. Right now the drain pipe looks hot because we've been running hot water through it. This one here, we are actually seeing a few drops of water down there, so we know we do have a leak at this drain. Anything that is wet is going to appear colder. And as you can see on my thermal imaging camera screen, it is giving me temperatures. Now also with this camera, we can look at walls and ceilings. Looking for missing insulation. Any wood in a wall will transmit a small amount of heat, so that will make this appear to be x ray, although it's not. It's just the studs a little bit warmer than the rest of the drywall. We'll also verify our AC is working. You can tell how cold we're blowing out. that to temperature of the air going in so we can tell if we're getting adequate cooling in the home. If we find stains on ceilings we can check to see if it is an active leak and this one here is absolutely no temperature difference so we have no current moisture it doesn't mean it's not leaking. We haven't had rain in quite a while. And we're also looking at the rest of the walls for insulation. Small hot spots, very minor areas of insulation missing. Not worth tearing a wall open for. 
sometimes the insulation sags a little bit in the wall but when we do find large areas then we know you do have a potential problem that could be heating up a room here we have an added access panel that should have insulation over it a lot of times it gets moved out of place and as we can see here that that is uh, almost 87 degrees there and the rest of the ceiling is around 80 degrees I've seen these attic covers be as hot as 110 and that's just heat pumping into your room now we're downstairs on the first floor after we run all the plumbing upstairs we'll come down here and look for any signs of moisture we have a couple of cleanouts here for the pipes coming downstairs. And looking at them, we're seeing a little bit of moisture around one of them, and there is staining on the wall. So that one was kind of obvious. Didn't take much to find that, but it's always good to verify if it is actually wet. And that's something we'll do with the moisture meter after we look with the thermal imaging camera. We always back up our findings with a moisture meter. Now this one here doesn't have any staining around it. Looking on the camera, the concrete wall below there is wet. And if we follow this pipe, all the way up where it comes from the second floor we've got a cold area here that may be a possible leak up in the ceiling and following down the pipe so we're going to check that with the moisture meter and as we keep looking check all of our ceilings There's another suspect area over here. It already has stains. It's below the shower. So now we come back to the suspected areas and we verify our findings with a moisture meter. Drywall uh, typically has 0.5% moisture maximum for this climate. 15.5% moisture. So we obviously have something going on there. Uh, just for reference, let's over there we have 0.2 dry. Now there we see it, we know we have that was the easy one. But the other areas that were not visible, point two there. Oh, I'll have to grab my ladder. Hold on. Now this moisture meter has different settings for wood, drywall, and concrete because there's different amounts of allowable moisture in different materials. So let's check the concrete here below this drain pipe. That's basically soaking wet. Water is on the surface of the wall. So that's a clean out plug that may be leaking from the plug. It may be leaking further up in the wall. But there is no such thing as a good leak. Now this particular house I inspected last week and found a few leaks in it. The seller has sent a contractor over here and said there's no leaks, he can't find anything. So I've come back this week to verify it. I uh, ran the water upstairs, I've been here for a little over an hour. 20 minutes ago I wasn't getting any moisture readings. But now, 
it's starting to show wet. 0.5% right at the borderline. So it's taking time for the water to soak through the drywall. So if you come in here for 10 minutes, run a sink, flush the toilet, you're not going to find it. You've got to run the water and wait for it to soak through. Now it is one thing to have one of these cameras, it's another thing to know how to use it, how to interpret what you're seeing on the screen, and to have an in-depth knowledge of building science and construction techniques. Right now we're looking at an outlet. This outlet appears to be hot, close to 98 degrees here. This outlet is also on an exterior wall and there is always going to be insulation pushed around the electric box because they cannot insulate it in place of it. So that's going to appear hot. It's not a problem. We look over here on an interior wall. There is no temperature difference. Now we look over here is a GFI outlet. The ones with the reset button found in your kitchens and bathrooms. These typically do give off a little bit of heat. We can use the infrared camera to analyze the condition of your AC equipment on the outside. Looking for consistent temperatures that are indicating good airflow across the coils. Now just to demonstrate the sensitivity of the camera, put my hand on this countertop for a second. There's my handprint. Maybe a half degree difference. Now here we're in an older home Freshly painted, new carpet. Yeah, it's about 80 degrees in here right now. And I start looking at ceilings. I see areas in the ceiling that are 110 degrees. So most likely somebody's been in the attic digging through, doing wiring, they've moved insulation out of the way. Not put it back. You get enough of these hot spots, it will affect the efficiency of your home. Another aspect of a home that we inspect is adequate attic ventilation. You have an older home that does not have any vents in the sides here to let fresh air flow into the attic. You'll get an accumulation of heat in the attic. Even if you have these vents on the side, it's very hard for hot air to leave if it cannot be replaced with cool air. And Looking at this right now, the attic temperatures are 150 degrees or more. Heat like that, it's going to work its way into your home. It's also going to overheat your roof and reduce the life of your shingles. And we talked about ventilation on the overhangs of your roof. And not having ventilation. Uh, another problem we come across is when you do have ventilation, sometimes the wind will blow and blows all the insulation back. So then you have voids there. We're seeing 98 degrees here in these red areas. So there's supposed to be cardboard baffles in there to prevent that, but some builders do not use them. So there are some of the many things that we can find using thermal imaging during our home inspections. So don't just have an inspector look around. 
have it inspected by right inspections.